Well, here we are, another day of Mishmas. I am really, really excited for today's video because we're going to be talking about jewelry. Uh, but before we get into that, I need to do my hair. <laughs> I figured I would just turn the camera on and start chatting with you guys as I did my hair. Um, I've just showered, you know, washed my hair and everything and blew it dry. Um, but I want to put a little bit of wave in there because I have not done that in a while. Wow. That was useful. Okay, is it working? <laughs> That's as, as good as it's gonna get. But I haven't used my handy dandy GHD Rise in a while, so I'm just gonna heat that up. So just wanted to give you an update on Miss Butters. She is um, continuing to improve. So today we took her back to school because she was just so, so crazy yesterday. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys this before. I think maybe I have. Um, but she, well, she's a, she's a female, but she is, uh, fixed. She was spayed, uh, when she was a puppy and, um, she likes to hump. She really likes to hump pillows. And so I've gone through a lot of different beds for her because any of those beds, like bolster beds or beds with like the bumpers around it, it's like she can't control herself around them. So I know when she just has just way too much pented up energy, I know I know she needs to go back to school. And since we can't really take her to dog parks, we just take her to school when we feel like she really needs to just run it out. So she really needs to run it out. She really just loves to play ball. That's, that's what she lives for. That is her thing. She just wants to play ball. Um, the apartment we live in is not big enough for that. You know, we can kind of throw it. <laughs> throw it from like one end of the living area to like the couch and she'll jump up and get it and that's it. Even for a dog, I can sense she gets bored with that pretty quickly. So um, anyway, I'm so glad that we could take her back to school. Um, she can run her little heart out. It's pretty chilly here in Vegas. So that means a really nice long day of running. Like in the summertime, I know they have to bring them in or whatever, they can't be out for too long. So in these cooler months, she can just be outside running, running, running like crazy. So we're probably gonna have a very tired puppy on our hands when we pick her up. I am still loving this GHD Rise tool, by the way. It's so great, it's just perfect. And now that my hair is just getting longer and longer and more and more unruly <laughs> as the months pass. This has really been a godsend. So not much else to report. Of course, I've just been home. Have you guys been watching any good TV? <laughs> Anything to suggest? I feel like I've just been binge watching and binge watching and binge watching. And yeah, I, I, it's like all the shows like run into one another. I can't even remember what I've watched what I haven't watched, what I want to watch. But I did just finish watching The Undoing, which was that uh, show on HBO starring Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant and Donald Sutherland. It was okay. If you guys watch that, please let me know what you thought of it because I was, I was kind of sucked in. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of like a cheesy drama. Like you get that sense of it pretty early on. So I wasn't expecting much, but... I was definitely expecting more from the ending. I will say that. The acting is great. You know, Donald Sutherland. My God. I, like, amazing. I think the man's like 81, 82. Just absolutely amazing. Um, so the acting is great. The story, the actual story itself, mm, it's all right. But let me know what you thought of it if you watched it. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Um, but I did also finish watching Queen's Gambit. That was excellent. That was really fantastic. The acting, the story, the whole thing. I thought that was really, really wonderful. And it took me so long to recognize uh, one of the chess players. It's the one that she... It's the one that really loves her. Um, he's a British actor. Anyway, he plays Dudley in the Harry Potter movies. And he looks so familiar and I just couldn't figure out where I knew him from because he's so much older now, obviously. And yeah, I had to look him up and I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. He played Dudley in the Harry Potter movies. I was really happy to see him in this um, amazing show. You know, you always kind of worry about child actors <laughs> and if they're going to make it, you know? All right, I'm just going to finish curling up my hair. I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me do this for the next five minutes, so I will be right back. All right, hair is curled. I put on some makeup and 
<laughs> I thought I would put on the 804 Chanel lip gloss. You guys know how much I love this. And I think I've talked about this lip gloss in a bunch of videos and I just never had it to show because it was always in one of my purses. Well, I like dug through all my purses and I found them. I actually have three of these. So two of them are back in purses. This one is gonna stay here in my drawer. Makes my lips look instantly fuller. I don't know what it is. It's like a mixture of the color, the finish, the shine, but it's not too shiny. Oh my God, anyway. <laughs> I've talked about this lip gloss a lot. Let's jump into the jewelry. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so, so excited. So you guys know, I, I love jewelry. I always have uh, quite a few rings on. Um, I started wearing more necklaces. Necklaces haven't always been my thing, but I have completely fallen in love with necklaces. Um, I used to not be able to wear earrings uh, because my ears were just allergic to everything, but and I've mentioned this before too, but when I started eating paleo years ago, all of a sudden that allergy went away along with an allergy to almonds. All of a sudden those two things, I can eat almonds and I can wear earrings again. So anyway, I love jewelry. And like I just said, I never was really like that into necklaces. And just recently, I don't know if it's the trend or whatever, my tastes have changed, or when I sit there and edit myself on YouTube, I always feel like, oh, I need a little something down there. There's a lot of self-criticism <laughs> when you edit yourself on, on YouTube. I've just been getting into uh, necklaces more and more. So I, um, not to get too like involved and convoluted into the whole story, but Stephanie Windsor is a brand that I have, known for a long time because she's a vintage jewelry dealer. She has, I think, the best vintage jewelry finds. You could always find her pieces at Barney's. That's where I first saw her. Of course, Barney's, rest in peace, is no longer with us. Um, but that's where I first became aware of her. And I always admired these um, antique pieces, these vintage antique pieces uh, from Stephanie Windsor. Anyway, fast forward all of these years, 20, 25 years, she is actually uh, very close to two of my friends uh, back in New York City. They both work in the in the fashion world, so they know each other. And um, she actually watches my YouTube channel. So we got to chatting and she told me that she produces like just straight up chains, not just deals vintage jewelry, but she actually produces her own. And I thought, wow, if there's anyone I wanna purchase like heirloom staple pieces from, it's gonna be Stephanie Windsor. So she was actually kind enough to send me a bunch of pieces to pick from. Now I'm gonna have to buy these. These were not a gift. Um, I'm gonna have to purchase these. Um, but she did send me a whole bunch just to just to check out because she knows it's hard to like get to a store and actually look at pieces. And jewelry is very personal. You really wanna try it on. You really wanna like feel it, feel it on you. So she sent over a bunch of her own chains and these are magnificent. First of all, just a note about my taste. I generally find like necklaces that I purchased kind of like off the rack or whatever, they're always a little bit too short. I don't like when they hang like right here. I don't like chokers really. I don't know, I just feel like it cuts in the wrong place. So for me, I really like 18 inches or longer. And so her chains are 18 inches, 24, 30. I was so happy to see these like longer lengths. So before I show you like the ones that I like and the ones that she sent over or whatever, I just wanna mention a few things. One, all of her chains are solid gold. So they're not gold verme, um, gold plated, gold filled, nothing like that. So they are solid gold. She does have 14 karat gold. She does have 18 karat gold. She has uh, yellow gold, white gold, rose gold for many of her chains. So that I wanted to mention because there is definitely such a difference when you wear like solid gold. There's a warmth to it on the skin and they just wear so much more beautifully. And I also wanted to mention she used to... And again, this is how I came across her the very first time, but she used to not only retail through Barney's, but she also used to do the Barney's private label jewelry for them as well. And because Stephanie Windsor has been, I mean, she's been working in jewelry her entire life. She has the best connections. So she has these chains made in the same mill that makes chains for Tiffany's, uh, for Louis Vuitton, for like a whole bunch of other like really, really high-end luxury fashion houses. All right, I think the easiest way for me to show you these chains is if I bring you down. So I'm gonna show you first the ones that I think I'm going to be um, purchasing. And the first one is a 30 inch oval link chain. And this one happens to be an 18 karat gold. I just absolutely love it. I love this oval chain. It's like not too big, not too small, and it just hangs 
perfectly. So that's the 30 inch. The other one that I think I need, <laughs> I need to purchase also is this paper clip link one. You can see it compared to the oval chain link that it's longer, it's a little bit flatter, and this one is 24 inches long, and this one happens to be in 14 karat gold. So she also has a ball chain. This I, I love. I may have to get one of these too. I just don't know what length, uh, but the one here is a 30 inch uh, length and it's so <laughs> it just reminds me of my youth you know in the 90s we used to always wear the ball chains but like the cheap ones that you know you would put dog tags on like that was the trendy thing to do like in the early 90s anyway it just reminds me of that it really brings me back so I am tempted by the ball chain but I think I want the links first and then of course she has some bracelets in the paperclip link and also the oval link I think, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to try these on and see which ones I like more. Uh, but I definitely want <laughs> one of the bracelets. Um, and then I am i can't decide if I like this. This is called, I think this is like a puffy, puffy oval. So this one is actually, is not solid. Otherwise I think it would be way too heavy and way too expensive. This one is 18 inches long and I really, really like it, but I'm just so like taken by all the like simple kind of like chain links that I don't know. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. And then here are some bracelets that um, are not exactly the same shape because they are larger, but they're also a little bit flatter, but they have inlay in them. So she sent over the Mother of Pearl and also the Onyx inlay bracelets. These are really cool to me. I think I like the bracelets a little bit more than the necklace. And then, oh, and then here is an 18 inch oval chain link necklace, but I'm going to put it next to the long 18 karat gold one that I like. You can see that the ovals are just a little bit larger. So she has these like little varieties in the chains that I just think is so cool because if you like that one kind of style, you can layer them. And if you get like the different size, it won't look like you're just wearing like kind of the same thing over and over again. So the 30 inch oval chain link, I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one for sure. And then the 24 inch 14 karat. So this is 18 karat. This one is 14 karat and this is the 24 inch paperclip one. So that one fits over my head as well. I have a pretty big head too. So I'm definitely going to be getting these two. And then let me just put on this puffy oval for you so you can see what it looks like on. And you know what I really love too? Her clasps are really generously sized. So they're easy to like open and close. So there's the puffy oval and then here's the paper clip and then here's the oval. I do really like these all together. Like, I don't think I would wear this alone, but I just love this layered with these two. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> I may need to get all three. And then as for the bracelets, I'm not sure which one I like more, the oval or the paper clip. I think I like the paper clip more for the bracelet. Let's try this on. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that on the clasp, but all the clasps have this really subtle SW, you know, Stephanie Windsor logo on there. So nothing big. She doesn't have like a big plate hanging off or anything. It's just this really kind of like delicate engraving on the clasp. So there's the paper clip bracelet. I like that. I wonder if it looks a little too, maybe a little too delicate. I don't really like delicate kind of jewelry. Let's try the oval on. Here's the oval. I think I may like the oval. It's so funny when I'm just looking at these pieces, I just love looking at the paperclip one. And I even told Stephanie before she sent them over, I was like, I really like the paperclip. So she sent me quite a few different lengths. But after getting this on, I think I like the oval better. Yeah, I think it's settled. I'm definitely gonna get these two. I'm definitely gonna get this bracelet. I'm gonna keep thinking on this puffy oval. And she also sent over these earrings for me to try. And I don't, I don't know if these are up on her site, but she said that she watched my video where I talked about the Modern Joe, like little huggy hoops and how the gauge of the part that goes into your ear was just too big. So she sent over one that have a smaller gauge right here. So it's just easier to get into my ear and they do fit well. So again, solid gold. And then these are little diamonds in the front. I'm definitely gonna be getting these as well. I definitely need another pair of like basic earrings. You guys are probably so sick of me wearing my Epolita, my Onyx ones that drop down, and also my Majuri Pearl ones that drop down. But I think these would be like a really nice addition to like my like basic jewelry collection. Yeah, these are perfect. Perfect, they're even more subtle than the other ones that I've been wearing all the time. 
oh, I really am just loving this so much. So before we move on to what I purchased at Chanel and Hermes, I do want to mention that I do have a code for the Stephanie Windsor site. So I will link everything down below in my description box. Um, the code is Michelle10 and that will give you 10% off any purchase and it is good for the month of December and it is an affiliate code so I will make a small percentage off of your sale just FYI you don't need to use the code if you don't want but it does give you 10% off and a really really big thank you to Stephanie for sending all these chains over for me to try she put a lot of trust in me and I really really appreciate it this is not a sponsored video or anything she just sent these over to me because she wanted me to be able to try them on and just see for myself which ones I liked before actually making a purchase so a big thank you to Stephanie for sending these over. You know, I just realized, so I was taking the, the 30 inch oval chain link off and I was like, I bet I can wear this as a bracelet just wrapped around. And I think, I think Stephanie probably mentioned that to me and I forgot, but I can wrap the 30 inch necklace around my wrist four times. So I've got like four layered on here. So maybe I won't get this bracelet because I can always just do this decisions. All right, and now for what I what I purchased at Chanel. Oh my God, there's so much. Can you guys see the glitter on the box? This box was sitting by the ornaments when I was taking the ornaments out of the box in yesterday's Mishmas, and all this glitter fell on the box. Not that I'm hating that at all. It's actually making the box look very festive. <laughs> anyway, so I purchased something at Chanel. They uh, sent it over to me, and so I opened it up just to make sure it was okay. So this did have like a ribbon and all of that stuff on there, but I, I took that off. Anyway, here's the box, and there's this beautiful like velvet like pouch lining in here. And then here's this protective cover. So I got a Chanel necklace, <laughs> a really long Chanel necklace. And like I was saying, I really prefer longer necklaces to shorter ones. But after opening this up and assessing that it was, you know, it looked good after, you know, opening the box or whatever, I just kind of closed up the box because I wanted to try it on with you guys. But I saw pictures of this in store and now I don't, I don't really know that much about um, Chanel's fashion jewelry. I feel like this is one of their, the classic styles of their necklaces, but I don't, I don't really know that much about it. I don't know what season this was part of. I don't know if this is actually considered one of the classic necklaces, um, but I liked it because the CC has black stones in there, and then three of the pearls have the black stones around it. Kind of makes it look like Saturn. It does have a big clasp. You can make it even longer if you wanted to. And then the end has a CC there. So all the pearls are like different sizes, which is really nice. So I'm gonna have to model this for you because it's way too long for me to just stand up and show you in the frame. Here it is doubled. So the reason why I got this necklace, again, I'm really surprising myself when it comes to Chanel, but I, this is not a necklace I would typically be drawn to at all. I do like pearls, but like a pearl necklace, I don't know, there's something very prim about it. Of course, this one has the Chanel flair. It's like more of like a rosary style. And I do like the black crystals in there. I was really kind of, I don't know, I was kind of going back and forth and I thought, what was it about it that kind of caught my eye? I mean, I do really like these uh, pearls with the black around there. But I'm like, that's such a small detail. Like in terms of the entire necklace, you know, am I gonna wear it? Is that really me? Is that my style? And I decided to just give it a shot because every Chanel purchase I've made has surprised me in how much I love it. Like all the handbags that I purchased from Chanel, obviously, I really, really like them. I really wanted them, that's why I purchased them. But once I start using it, once I like carry it, once I see it like in my everyday life, I like them even more, which keeps surprising me. So that's what kind of gave me the motivation to get this necklace. I'm like, I bet I'm gonna like it more than I even think that I'm going to. And even within these like 10 minutes that I've had it on, I, I really enjoy it. I think I do like this more than I thought I would. I just think it looks really cool. So anyway, that is a necklace that I purchased from Chanel. I'm surprising myself though at how many necklaces I'm purchasing because again, not really my thing, but I guess since I never really purchased necklaces in the past, I used to be a really big like earring wearer. I've gotten rid of a lot of costume ones, ones that have, you know, kind of lost a stone here and there or kind of like got bent out of shape or something. So I remember when I moved here from New York City, I actually kind of cleaned out all my costume jewelry. I got rid of 
like 90% of it was like just kind of too old but I never really had a lot of necklaces and then the last jewelry purchase I made this box just arrived I am so so excited so I placed an order on hermes.com and as you guys know I've worn my um, click clack that Hermes bracelet a lot it's yellow and it has like a silver like a chrome finish to it that bracelet was a gift that was a gift to me and I love it I absolutely love it and actually that is another something that I love a lot more than I thought um, bangle bracelets to me always looked like I don't know like they're uncomfortable almost like like handcuff <laughs> like handcuffs um, they so they always just kind of looked uncomfortable to me so I thought oh you know I don't know how often I'll wear this I wear it all the time so that prompted me to go onto the Hermes site and look for one in a color that is a little bit more me. Like I love the yellow. I think it's so bright. It's so happy. But I wanted something like a little bit more basic, aka black. And so that's what brought me onto the Hermes site. And then, of course, I fell in love with some other pieces. Okay, so it just comes in a plain white box. Oh, look at the inside of the lid. It's so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, there is nothing like the sight of some Hermes boxes. Wow. Okay, wow, sorry, I had to change uh, the battery in my camera, so I think this angle is probably a little bit different. But anyway, we have some boxes from Hermes. Uh, let's see what this is all about. I've never ordered anything off of their website. Oh, so they have a card about the enamel bracelets, their return and exchange policy, and then on the back it says your receipt. So that's in the envelope there. So I'm going to open up the heaviest one because I think this is the bracelet that I got. Little velvet pouch. Le bracelet click. <laughs> Here it is. So I got the black enamel with the rose gold finish. There is plastic over here and there are two different sizes for their bracelets. There's a PM and a GM. Remember? Yeah, PM and GM. I got the GM, which is a little bit larger, but I don't know if you guys are familiar with these bracelets. So all you have to do is kind of like squeeze it together just a little bit and then you lift up the H and then it opens up. So the yellow one that I have is a little bit thinner. This one is thicker than that one and I wonder hmm maybe I should have gotten the PM I can't even put like a finger through there okay so maybe this is the right size but the enameling stops there that's where the hinge is where it opens and then we've got enamel and then the H so the H probably doesn't look that shiny to you because it does have the plastic protection over it I'm gonna leave that on because I just want to see like how I like this. I may want to get the smaller size. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave that on, but I do like the rose gold and I do like the black for sure. Okay, so that's what I went on to the Hermes site for, <laughs> and then I left with two more things. So I'm gonna open up, yeah, this box is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna open up this one. Same deal, orange box, little velvet uh, envelope in here. And then here it is. So I decided to get a necklace and <laughs> sitting here talking about like how I like longer chains and longer this and longer that. I think this one is 18 inches, which is like the shortest I like to go. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let me take this out. So this is also in a rose gold finish. And then, and then we have like the Hermes lock that you find on their bags and on some of their jewelry or whatever. And then this is like a leather piece. So it ends up kind of being like a shadow to the lock. Oh, I see at one end of the chain here, you can actually close the necklace at a shorter length if you want. I won't be, I won't be doing that. <laughs> so there's that necklace. So the chain is fairly fine. It's not, it's not the finest I've seen, which is nice. I always feel like I'm gonna break chains if they're too, too thin, but this is a nice weight. And then here's how the lock lays on top of that leather piece. Isn't that cool? I thought that looked really, really neat. So when I found that necklace, I found something else. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Okay, so I got, <laughs> I got the matching earrings. And I'm not really a matchy-matchy jewelry person, but I just, I love this and I probably won't wear them together. But anyway, here's like a hoop and then you can hang the locks onto it or not, or just one or the other. Oh. 
I love how they've incorporated the leather, like their heritage into the jewelry. I think that's really cool. And then there's that plate at the end of the earring. It has like the Hermes Paris around there. <gasps> really cool. I love that attention to detail. And they have the same thing on the earring backing here. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's like teeny tiny, but really cool. Let's see, let's put the lock on and then the leather on the back. Take out my Stephanie Windsor huggies. Oh, I put the wrong, <laughs> I put the wrong side of the lock facing out. So one side of the lock is plain and then the other has the typical, the like H engraving. So there is the earring. <gasps> oh, I love it, I love it. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like too much, you know, like a lock hanging off of my ear, but I like that it's relatively flat. I think it's like a perfect pairing with this, this Huggy, which is um, thicker than your average Huggy. Ooh, how neat. Okay, I think on this side, I'm gonna try just the hoop without the lock. Just see what that looks like alone. Right there it is without the lock. And with the lock, I guess I could always do this too. Oh, how cool. Wow, wow, wow. I am really loving all of this jewelry. I haven't bought this much jewelry, like all at once, in a really, really long time. I usually like to pick out like a special piece here and there, but I really went on a tear, didn't I? Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video um, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you for tomorrow's Mishmas video.